What is up guys? Welcome to the channel and welcome to a high protein full day of eating for losing fat and building muscle. Today, I'm gonna give you guys all my secrets, hacks, and tricks to ensure that losing weight is not only as easy as possible, but delicious at the exact same time. I'll be taking this camera along with me all day and I'll show you guys every single meal I eat, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and dessert. And if by the end of this video, I haven't convinced you that this is the best diet on the planet, then I just simply haven't been doing my job right. If the diet you've been following has you stuck and spinning your wheels, then I implore you, give this video and these recipes a shot because I know if you do, they just might change your life. All right, guys, we got five meals to get in and there just ain't enough hours in the day, so we better get started. So without further ado, if y'all are ready to get epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! Now the first thing I do every single morning is weigh myself and do a little physique check. Make sure everything's working smoothly. Now check me out. You guys know I've been on my summer mini cut. I'm leaning out nice. Everything's kind of popping. The shoulders, the tries, boom. Overall, I'm feeling pretty great. And the best part is when you're eating like this, you don't even feel like you gotta do any work. And once I have my daily weigh in, I always wanna track it. That way I can go week by week, day by day, month by month, and make sure what I'm doing is working. So I always plug it into the My Fitness Pal app, which is probably the best fitness app ever created. If you guys are, for instance, making meals from the channel, from the cookbook, you plug them in here, It'll tell you the calories, protein, and everything. That way, by the end of the day, you can make sure you're hitting your numbers and everything's running smoothly. And then once I got the weigh-ins logged, before I eat anything at all, I have a supplement routine that I do every single day. I absolutely swear by this. I think it's a miracle supplement stack. I cover it in a ton of videos. So I won't go too crazy with it now, but I'll show you what I do. All I need is a shaker cup. Fill it up about halfway with water. Then we toss in two scoops of greens and a tablespoon of fiber. And since I don't like my drinks to taste like a grow-up, I like to add in one of these zero-sugar Kool-Aid packs. Zero calories, tons of flavor. Now we'll just shake it up. Then we move on to the pills. I need six beef liver capsules. I need seven creatine monohydrate pills. And then finally, one of my favorites, a couple vitamin D3 pills. Cheers. Ooh. Ooh. Round two. Oof, you would think with all the scientific advancements we made, we could figure out how to make them greens taste better. They're still working on the science. Now for the sake of keeping this short and sweet, the reason I take all of these is to simply fill in any holes that my diet might not be covering. I know you've heard it your whole life, eat your greens. Well, I'm doing that every single morning. The creatine helps us build muscle. The fiber is gonna keep us fuller and help our digestion. The vitamin D3 gives us all the benefits of sunlight, but in a pill form. Better mood, sleep, energy. And then finally, the beef liver has so many vitamins and minerals it could practically be considered a superfood. When I take all these first thing, I'm basically supercharging my body and putting it in the best position possible to feel good, look good, and perform good. One thing a lot of people don't consider is that sometimes when you feel hungry, it's not actually hunger, but instead it's your body having a craving for a vitamin or mineral that you're deficient in. So taking these first thing makes the rest of my day worry-free, optimal, and it lets me focus on the more important stuff, like making sure we get these meals in. Come on. All right, it's time for breakfast, guys. We're gonna be making a high-protein ham, egg, and cheese sandwich that we can have ready in a few minutes. It is delicious, loaded out with protein, and perfect for our diet. As always, I'll be referencing the RGF Anabolic Cookbook. But for anybody that doesn't have it, I'll put the ingredients on the screen so you can follow along too. We'll just measure out 138 grams of egg beaters, followed up by 10 grams of green onion, along with a dash of salt and black pepper. We'll just give it a quick whisk. Now we'll just pour these down in a skillet. Then I'll take each slice of bread, dip it down in the eggs, let it get damp. Then we'll flip it over. Do the same thing with the other one. Flip it over. Now after a couple minutes, this egg firms up. What I'm gonna do is get a spatula. We're gonna get underneath this bad boy and we're just gonna flip her over like that. And we'll just add a piece of fat-free American cheese onto each slice of bread, followed up by our deli ham. Boom. Now we'll just go in, fold all of our egg up just like that. Then we just flip this over and boom. Ladies and gentlemen, breakfast is served. You guys can't tell me that meal one is not a beauty. Check that out. We got the melted cheese, the ham, the bread, and the egg. And when it all comes together like this, it won't even feel or taste like you're doing your body some good. Three, two, one, let's get it. This thing quite literally never gets old. Now, at our first meal of the day, what we're getting is just 328 calories with only four grams of fat. We get a whopping 41 grams of protein and 32 grams of carbs with four grams of fiber. A sandwich like this one, guys, is the perfect way to start the day. We're keeping protein high at 41 grams. We're keeping the calories low at just 328. And overall, if you need a filling high protein breakfast to help you lose some weight, this is one I literally go recommend enough. I mean, look at that, bud. You can't tell me she ain't pretty. So there we go, that's meal one, quick, easy breakfast. I'm gonna go ahead and smash this real quick and I'll be back for meal number two. Let's go. 
All right, guys, taking a break from the monotonous computer work. We need ourselves a snack. Let's get one up. What? You're kidding me. How in the world am I completely out when I just got three boxes? It doesn't make any sense. My girlfriend must be up to no good. Luckily, I keep on hidden in a secret place in case this happens. And this spot right here is a 200 IQ move. Let me show you. I'm gonna take these shoes that I bought her for Christmas. These ones right here. She hasn't even worn once. And I just keep my most valuable possessions right down inside. And I love doing this because at the rate we're going, I can stuff a million dollars in here and she'd never find. Now when I'm on the go and I'm working, nothing beats the convenience of a protein bar, especially one that tastes this good. Meal two is gonna be a frosted strawberry cupcake and a bar, which is quite literally the best flavor of any protein bar I've ever had. And the best part is this bad boy is coated in strawberry white chocolate. Now hold on, I can't show you this angle without giving you a quad check. Boom, baby. And for the guy that says I don't train legs, this one's for you. Three, two, one, let's go. Without a doubt, there is not a protein bar that tastes as good. I mean, look at that right there. Hold on, get that lighting good. You can literally see those crunchy sprinkles we get in every bite. Now to our second meal. What we're getting is just 270 calories with only nine grams of fat. We're getting 20 grams of protein, 29 grams of carbs with a gram of fiber. Now for me at this point in the day, protein bars fit in perfectly. No cooking, I don't gotta think about it. We're getting in 20 grams of protein. And when I'm eating one like this, it literally becomes something I look forward to and is essentially a highlight of my day. And I mean that. If you still haven't tried these bad boys, then I recommend you head over to theanabar.com. My code RJF10 will save you money. They got a ton of amazing flavors. All of them are great. Now, I know if you try it, you absolutely will not be disappointed. You can also find these bad boys at every single H-E-B in Texas, every Hy-Vee grocery store nationwide, a ton of gas stations, supplement shops, and Amazon. And then for everybody in Texas, if you still haven't tried the frosted strawberry cupcake flavor, my new personal favorite, it is now available in all the H-E-Bs for a limited time. So if you want to see just how good these taste, make sure you check them out. And if for some reason you can't find Anabars or don't have access to them, then general rule of advice, as long as your protein bar has less than 300 calories with 20 grams of protein or more, then you'll know it's RJF approved. Oh, and if you want to enter the giveaway to win a free box, just make sure you like the video, be subscribed, leave a comment, and I'll announce the winner in the next video. All right, guys, so as of right now, we're two meals into the day. We're around 600 calories with 60 grams of protein. We're off to a great start. All we got to do now is keep the progress rolling. So I'm going to finish this protein bar, do a little more work, and then I'll show you guys what we're cooking up for meal three, and I know you're going to love it. Come on. All right, guys, we are back with a late lunch, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make a healthy McDonald's Big Mac at home that you won't feel guilty about eating. Once again, I'll be referencing the RJF Anabolic Cookbook, but for those of you that don't got it, I'll put all the ingredients on the screen. The first thing on the docket is to make our healthy Big Mac sauce. I need 30 grams of light mayo, five grams of yellow mustard, five grams of pickle relish, two grams of paprika, a gram of garlic powder, and then finally a dash of both salt and black pepper. Now I'm just gonna mix this up, and after you do that, you'll officially have healthy, low-calorie Big Mac sauce. Now what we'll do is season our beef we're gonna toss it in a mixing bowl, and I won't bore you with all the measurements, but to sum it up, a little paprika, garlic powder, and some simple salt and pepper really do the trick. We'll just go in, mix everything together by hand, then we'll just take our seasoned beef, split it into two evenly sized piles, then I'll just place these on a board, then I'll go in and shape both of them into patty. The last thing we get to do before we build this bad boy is fry up our patties. I'm gonna toss them in a skillet. They're gonna need about two to three minutes each side. And I'm gonna go ahead now and let these do their thing. Once I get back here, I'm gonna prove to you guys that my true calling might not have been YouTube, but instead a fast food fry cook employee. All right, guys, let's put this thing together. We got our sesame seed bun. We'll take off the top. We're gonna take a nice big serving of our sauce. Get that spread out. Then we'll add our slice of fat-free cheese. Then we'll just add some shredded lettuce, one of our patties, an additional bottom bun. We'll spread out the rest of our sauce. Even more lettuce, some diced white onion, some pickle chips. And then finally, we'll add the remaining patty and the top bun. Ladies and gentlemen, lunch is served. All right, meal three coming in hot, and this bad boy's gonna give me the perfect opportunity to take a break from setting up my new work computer. And I don't know if any of you guys have had the opportunity to use the new Windows that came out, 11. And if you haven't, spoiler alert, it's not getting any better. But alas, we're gonna take a break from calibrating screens and updating drivers to handle this Big Mac. Check that bad boy out. This should look real similar to the regular Big Mac, except I promise you this one's gonna be better. Three, two, one, let's go. <laughs> It really doesn't get better than eating Big Macs for lunch. And the best part is we can do that while still feeling and looking this good. And for this late lunch, meal three, what we're getting is just 559 calories with 15 grams of fat. We're getting 60 grams of protein, 46 grams of carbs with three grams of fiber. And with that, folks, we're officially crushing today. We're at around 1,200 calories with 120 grams of protein. And since I aim for hitting a minimum of 200 grams a day, and I recommend that for most male adults, it's safe to say we're doing something right. Not sure if you guys are seeing a theme here, but essentially my rule 
goals. I want to get protein in at every meal. I want to make sure by the end of the day I'm hitting my calorie goal. And third, I actually want to enjoy it so I don't get burnt out. And essentially all I do morning of, night before, get a rough idea of what I want to eat, what I'm craving, and I just pull meals out of my cookbook. And I basically just eat the recipes till I reach my calorie goal. And I know I say this a lot, but this really is the easiest dieting has ever been for me. When you enjoy what you're doing, and I'm eating foods like the one you've seen in this video or this Big Mac, it really makes this the most easy and delicious high protein diet I've ever followed in my life. And I always tell people if they don't believe in it, all I ask you to do is simply try these recipes out for a week, swap the foods you've been eating out with these ones, and then come back and tell me if you're not a little lighter, you feel a little better, and most importantly, it didn't feel like work at all. The law of thermodynamics does not lie, and it really is that easy. If you want to make it even easier, you can always pick up a copy of the RGF Anabolic Cookbook, which you'll find at the first link in the description box. Like I said earlier, this thing is literally my blueprint to how I diet, how I eat good, and how I stay in shape. We got every single meal imaginable in here, breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, and snacks. And the best part is every time I drop a new recipe, it gets added to the book for free, and you never gotta buy a new cookbook or an updated copy. This thing is quite literally my life's work, and I know with 100% certainty, if you truly follow what's in here, I mean, you truly do, you'll see results no matter what, you just gotta do it. If that sounds like something you can manage, hit that link down below to check it out. All right, people, I'm gonna finish eating my burger, I'm gonna get this computer all set up, and then once we're finished with that, it's literally gonna be time for dinner because I'm running a little behind. So I'm gonna go ahead and scarf this down, and I'll be back here shortly. Come on. All right, guys, dinner is upon us, and I'm gonna show you guys the meal that I basically make when I wanna spend as little time as possible in the kitchen. I'm trying to get in a ton of protein, and I feel like having pizza. Once again, we'll be referencing the RGF Anabolic Cookbook. It'll have those ingredients up on screen for everyone that needs them. I'm just gonna grab one of these Joseph's Lavish Flatbreads. We're gonna sit it down flat, then we'll take our 122 gram pizza sauce and give it a nice spread. And these flatbreads are literally the perfect pizza crust. In just one of these, we're only getting 120 calories with 12 grams of protein. Then we'll spread our 224 grams of fat free mozzarella, then we'll add our turkey pepperoni, our real bacon pieces, and then last but not least, some diced green pepper. And there we go, guys. With recipes like this, we can have a nice, healthy, high-protein dinner without spending too much time in that kitchen. The final thing this needs is just 10 to 12 minutes in a 400-degree oven, and she gonna be ready for the big leagues. Let me toss this in, and when I return, it'll officially be dinner time. Come on. Guys, take one look at this pub pizza and tell me this guy doesn't look incredible. We got the pepperoni, we got the bacon, we got the green pepper. My favorite part about this pub style pizza is how thin it is, which means we spend less time chewing on bread and more time chewing on the stuff we like. Three, two, one, let's get it. Boy, oh boy, pizza for dinner never gets old. And here's why I love this recipe and I eat it all the freaking time. In this entire pizza, if you make it exactly what I did it and you eat the whole thing, what you get is only 691 calories with just 11 grams of fat. We get a massive 100 grams of protein. We're only getting 48 grams of carbs. And with that, we get six grams of fiber. That's right, folks. You heard it. In this large size pizza, we're getting just under 700 calories with 100 grams of protein. That is insane. I told you guys earlier, my goal every day is to hit 200 grams of protein. Well, Two of these guys will get me there easily and I still have some calories left over. And after looking at the MyFitnessPal app, I still got about 300 calories left. So what we're gonna do is eat this, then I'll use the rest of the calories for an anabolic dessert. So let me eat this before we lose all of our daylight and I'll be back momentarily. Come on. Anytime I'm craving a sweet treat late at night, I just reach down here into my snack drawer. I meal prep. A ton of high protein desserts, that way they're ready in a pinch. We got ice cream bars, no bake protein cookies, frosted Oreo donuts, some ice cream. And to be honest, all those would be great options. But what I'm actually craving is right in there. And then here's where I keep my newest addiction, these anabolic ice cream sandwiches. It's basically just protein ice cream stuffed between two honey graham crackers. Never since I dropped this recipe a few weeks back, I'm eating one dang near every single day. Seriously, when a healthy dessert tastes this good, it really makes me wonder why we needed the other stuff in the first place. Three, two, one, let's go. Wow, these things are literally like a guilty pleasure. Let me just sit this over here for right now. That way I can grab my phone and break this down for you. What we got in the final meal of the day. For the anabolic ice cream sandwich is just 312 calories. With only four grams of fat, we're getting 35 grams of protein, only 34 grams of carbs, with one gram of fiber. And would you look at that, folks? 35 grams of protein in an ice cream sandwich. It really doesn't get much better than that. Now, I've shown you guys every single meal I've had today. I've broken down the nutrition. I've talked probably more than I should. And at this point, some of you might have questions. 
calories? What are my daily totals? How many calories are I eating today? How much protein did I end up with? Why am I eating so much protein and is there a benefit to it? And trust me, I'm gonna answer all those questions and break it all down as soon as I eat this bad boy. So let me get to scarfing down dessert and we'll officially run the numbers. Come on. All right, folks, we're running out of daylight, so I gotta make this quick. Y'all remember that giveaway I told you about earlier? Well, we're about to announce the winner from the last video because in every video, I give away a box of the best tasting protein bar in the world, the Anabar. And if you wanna be entered to win, just like the video, be subscribed to the channel, and leave a comment. And the winner from the last video is Kenny Lou 6697 with a comment. This diet has been a game changer. If it wasn't for all these recipes, I'd still be trying to eat chicken breast and broccoli every day to try and lose weight. These recipes make dieting easy and fun, and I've also dropped 30 pounds, and I've kept it off. Hey, Kenny Lou, my boy, congratulations on the 30 pounds of keeping it off, and I appreciate the support. And what you said here about chicken, rice, and broccoli rings true. I was never more miserable than when I was trying to eat like that every single day just to look like this. That's why it's still mind blown to me that this uh, diet is even possible. Once again, man, I appreciate you. Thanks for the support. Email me at the email in my description box. I'll get one of these lovely boxes of Anabars out to you ASAP. And for anybody else who wants to try the best tasting protein bar in the world, you can always visit theanabar.com. My code RGF10 will save you money. We're available in every high grocery store nationwide and every HB in Texas. And plus, I got a ton of big announcements coming real soon, so stay tuned. Make sure you guys enter that giveaway. And if you haven't tried one of these yet, I don't know what the heck you're thinking. And here we go, guys. It's the moment of truth. If we take every single meal I ate today, you add it all up. What I ended up consuming today on the whole is just 2,167 calories with 43 grams of fat. We get a whopping 256 grams of protein. We're getting 189 grams of carbs with 15 grams of fiber. And folks, this is what I call 100% A plus mission accomplished. Like I always preach, with these diets, I try to make it as simple as possible. With the anabolic diet and these recipes, we only have two rules. The first one is I need to hit my minimum protein goal. For me, that's 200 grams of protein a day. If you're dieting and in a calorie deficit, if you don't have enough protein in your diet, then as your body's looking for energy on you, it only has two options. The first one being the body fat on you, which is what we want to target. And the second is your hard-earned muscle mass, aka protein. When you don't eat enough, there's a chance your body can take the muscle off of you instead of fat, and you can end up skinny fat, which none of us want, and we all know someone has done it that way. Hence why the protein is so important. Once we do that, the only other rule we have to follow, our second one, is to simply hit our calorie goal. And for me, if I'm trying to lose weight, anything under 2,800 calories is a calorie deficit. This right here, 2,167 calories is essentially like a 500 calorie deficit. So if I follow the same thing every single day, I would lose a little over a pound of fat a week without sacrificing any of my hard-earned gains. So overall, finishing at 2,167 is a massive win. Keeps me lean, tight, and happy. Whereas the 256 grams of protein, we easily smash my 200 gram goal and basically pass the 200 grams, anything I get after that, I just consider extra credit. There's far more benefits to a high protein diet than what I stated. Protein is the most satiating of every macro, meaning it's going to fill you up and have you feeling fuller longer. It's essential for building muscle and repairing it. And out of all the macros, it has the highest thermic effect of food, meaning that the more protein you eat, the more calories your body burns over any other macro, simply just by having to digest it. At the end of the day, there's a reason every bodybuilder, model, athlete, anybody that has a physique you want is eating a high protein diet. And if you've never actually followed a high protein diet, before, then I'm telling you, start right now. Because I promise after even just a week of following it, you'll notice the changes. So yeah, guys, this is essentially what I do every single day of the week. Besides Saturdays, I give myself a little bit of a cheat meal, nothing too crazy. But for the most part, this is what I was doing. My cravings are on all time low because really there's nothing I can't have. I just make the anabolic version. I feel good. I'm sleeping good. Life is good. I have zero complaints. And like I stated earlier, it's not that I'm eating these exact same meals all the time. Quite the contrary. I'm often swapping things in and out, trying different recipes. Maybe I'm craving pizza. Maybe I want boneless wings. Maybe I want some chicken alfredo. The sky's the limit. And really at this point, if I can think it, then by God, I can probably make it. Because of all those reasons, I truly believe this is the best diet in the world. And if you want to get started, obviously we got all the free recipes on the channel. You can watch the videos, figure it all out. But if you want the ultimate diet cookbook in your pocket, don't forget, you can hit that link in my description box and check out the RJF Anabolic Cookbook. Not only does this thing have over 300 pages loaded down with recipes, breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, and snacks, it also gets essentially unlimited content. Because every time I drop a new recipe, I create something like that ice cream sandwich, it gets added to the book for free, and all you gotta do is go get your updated copy, and it's not gonna cost you a penny. Seriously, I believe with all my heart, if you are trying to lose weight, and you follow what's in this book, you really do. You'll see results no matter what, you just gotta do it. If that sounds good, hit that link down below. So there we have it, folks. Another full day of eating in the books. Another successful day on my cut. And I'm real happy you guys could be a part of everything. Before I go, I do gotta give a quick shout out to Young LA. Check it out, guys. We got something different. I got one of their new tanks on right here. This is a brown color. Not sure if brown's my color. 
color, but I kind of like it. And I'm also rocking these new shorts they just dropped with all the cool branding. You even got cool little accents on the strings. And if you're in need of some high quality boxers, Young LA has you covered. Whether you're a man, woman, or child, Young LA has something for you. It's quite literally all I wear, and I mean that. It's starting to get ridiculous. Cause I know if you try it, you absolutely love it. YoungLA.com, my good RGF will save you money. And I'm telling you, you give these guys a chance, I know you won't regret it. And finally, guys, I'm a personal trainer. I can make you a meal plan, just like the one you saw me eat for myself. Except it'll be catered towards you. You fill out a questionnaire, I break down all your stats, height, weight, age, food preferences, how much you go to the gym. Do you have an active or sedentary job? I take all that into consideration and build you the perfect plan that'll work as long as you follow it. If you want to check that out, visit my site, RemingtonJamesFitness.com. And that's it, folks. That's going to wrap this thing up. I appreciate you guys as always. Make sure you enter that giveaway. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll teach every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Bam, 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 baby. Woo, we gone. I don't not even eat nothing. So I don't even know what to say here.